I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a concept to find points on a line when slope is given to us. So we'll kind of do a reverse calculation, right? So now the question which we are trying to answer here is how to find points on a line when the slope is given. So we have two examples here. For the first one, slope is given to us as m1 equals to 3 and for the second example we have slope as minus 2. So when I say that slope is equals to 3 it means what? Let's try to understand that part. So slope is basically rise over run right. You may also recall slope is change in y value change in y value divided by change in x value. That is how we see slope. Now when we are given slope of a line in this case of 3 that means change in y value is 3 and what is the change in x value? Well if nothing is written it has to be 1 correct? So what we have from here is that to get a slope of 3 change in y is equal to 3 and change in x is equal to 1. Now that should help us to get two points on a line with slope of 3. So to keep it simple what we will do here is we will first visualize. So let me just make a coordinate plane here okay and let's say this is the one we will use for both the same coordinate plane. Now let's begin by finding two points we can always assume one. So let's assume one to be at the origin. So we are saying one of the points on the line is the origin. That means line pass through the origin. Now the question is how to get the second point. So that the line has a slope of 3. Now as you have seen here, if this is one of our points, then the second point should be such that change in y is 3 for change in x of 1, right? So, we could do either way. We could go change in y. That means from here, 1, 2, 3 steps, right? That is change in y. Change in x is 1. That means 1 unit to the right. So, that means 1 unit to the right. So, from 0, if I go to a point which is 1 unit to the right and 3 units up, then we know that the change in y is 3 for a unit change in x. Joining these two should give me a segment, right? And extending this gives me a line. Do you see that? So now I have a line which definitely has slope of 3, right? And two points for me are, as you can see here, one of the point is the origin. We say O, which is 0, 0. And the other point here is, let me call this as A, and for me A is 1, 3, correct? So A is 1, 3. So that is how I could get two points on a line with slope of 3. Now, interesting thing which we'll see is that I could take any point in general. Let us take a point which is, let us say, P and the point value is x, y. So I'm taking a general point now, p, which is x, y. Now, let us say this general point is, uh, is somewhere inside this. We'll take a value and then do it. Now the question is, what should be the value of q so that the slope is 3 for a line joining p, q? Well, change in x is 1 that means x value can increase by 1 so it'd be x plus 1 and change in y is 3 y value increases by 3 so it'll be y plus 3 so that should be the point q what i'm trying to say here is if i take a point let us say c where x value is minus 1 and let's say y value is uh, just let's say minus 2 okay in that case, what should be my D on a line with slope of 3? Well, 1, if I add to minus 1, what do I get? I get 0, right? 
So minus 1 plus 1 is 0. And if I add minus 2, and if I add 3 to minus 2, then I should get plus 1, correct? So point D is 0, 1. That is to say, if I join a point which is minus 1, minus 2, that means 2 down, right? So 2 down and minus 1, somewhere here, and D is 0, 1, 0 and 1, then what should I get? I should get, I'm, this is minus 2, not minus 1, okay, minus 2. So this point will be, uh, so C is minus 1, C is minus 1, minus 2, that is this, okay, and 0, 0 and 1 is the point, which is for D, right? So if I join these two points, then we should get a line which does have a slope of 3, is it okay? So if I join these two points, which in this particular case will be a line, say this, right? So we'll join these two points. So from here, we can say the rise is 3, right? So 1, 2, and 3, and run is 1. So slope of this line, this line should be kind of parallel to this. Since I'm not using a proper graph paper, I don't see that much parallel. Is that okay? But this line will also have a slope of 3 and has two different points, right? So change in y value to change in x value in this case is indeed 3. Let's check it out. So change in y will be 1 minus minus 2, right? So the slope here will be equal to m equals to y minus y1. You could do y1 minus y2 or y2 minus y1 divided by x1 minus x2, right? So two values change. That means y, this difference, 1 minus minus 2 divided by 0 minus minus 1. That gives us 3 over 1. So the slope is 3 indeed for these two points, which are C and D for us. Is that okay? So we have found two sets of points which can give us slope of 3. And the strategy here is to assume one point and get the other one. Correct? Now we'll apply this strategy for the second example. Okay. Now for second example, we know that the slope is minus 2. That is to say, when I say slope is minus 2, that means we could write this as minus 2 over 1. That means change in y value over change in x value is minus 2 over 1. It simply means that delta y is equals to minus 2 and change in x is 1. So if I take any point p as x, y, in that case, any point Q whose change in x is by one value, that is to say x plus 1, and change in y is minus 2, that is to say y minus 2, these two points for different values of x will give me set of points on the line with slope of minus 2. Correct? Now let's take an example. Let us say that we have a point M and let's choose point M as, as point 0, 3, right? For simple calculation, the y intercept of line will be 3 in this case. In that case, what should be n so that we have a slope of minus 2? We'll add 1 to 0, right? So which is 1, and uh, we will add 3 to minus 2. Okay, so 3 minus 2, or we'll subtract 2 from 3, that is to say 1. So the point 1, 1, which is right there, if you connect these two, then we get a line with a slope of minus 2. Okay, so let me connect these two points, and then we'll check their slope. So if you connect them, we get a line like this, extend, right? So it's definitely going downwards. It means it has a negative slope, perfect. And now, with the two given points, let us check what the slope is. So slope is, you could write this equation, which I wrote y1 minus y2. You could also write this as y2 minus y. It doesn't really matter. But the order should be same, okay? x2 minus x1. 
This time, we are taking these values as x1, y1 and these values as x2, y2. So now, substituting these values, let us calculate and check our result. So y2 is 1 minus 3 divided by 1 minus 0. Now 1 minus 3 is minus 2, 1 minus 0 is 0, 1 and so we get a slope of minus 2. So that matches. I hope you get the idea, right? So now the question for you is that I have a point P, let us say the value of the point is 3 minus 5, right? You need to find another point, let us say A, whose coordinates are let's say x and y, so that the slope is half. Is it okay? So that's the question for you. How should be the coordinates of AB so that PA, that line, has a slope of half? I hope the concept is clear to you. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.